Okay, we uh, changed times up on you. You're just lucky we're doing this at this point. Well, sometimes we don't know why we're doing this at this point. They shouldn't even see I have shorts on. <laughs> I didn't bother to put fucking pants on. Show her feet, please. Show her feet, please. Oh, my feet are so dirty. <laughs> <laughs> show her feet, please. I love that. <laughs> so it's like, show her feet. Show her feet. I had to have no. I'm wearing shorts because I couldn't be bothered to put pants on or underwear. So they said, and my feet are dirty. Someone literally just <laughs> said, "Don't tell me that's your wife." <laughs> have you never seen our show before? Not at all, wife. The extremely gay man and extremely large whore. So. Well, hey, I'm a large whore too. Don't take you all are that. A large whore. It's yeah. trying to outdo take my whorish. Your don't take my hornish. Uh, no, we're just best friends. Damn. Oh my gosh, they all say they're straight. They all, what? I don't know. I'm just reading what's coming in live from the feed, and oh. it says they all say they're straight. Who says they're? Oh, I'm not. I didn't even say I was straight. And but he's you gay are. as fuck. I don't know. I'm straight by my definition. I'm not straight by society's definition. You're gay for pay. Totally gay for pay. All right. What's up, guys? <laughs> Happy to see everyone again. Uh, since we don't know what episode we're on anymore. 10, yeah, 11. But we do know. Since you've been gone. Since you've been gone. Since you've been gone. We both shot. We both did some fun shoots. Yes. We just got, I just, I filmed Monday and my asshole was ripped. Oh my god, yeah, he was telling me the story of literally bleeding on set. Y'all, my butthole, like, oh my god. I've like, never ripped my butthole before. My butthole was bleeding. That's terrifying. And I was like, keep going. First <laughs> off, he didn't know it had torn. And then I didn't the director know. had to yell, cut. I didn't know my butthole tore. How do you not I, know that, though? You know, and even if I, I don't know, you know, I was laughing. I was like, that's when you've taken too much dick. <laughs> but hey, I was tired. I was like, ooh, I'm still tired. I don't think that's, <laughs> it's not like you like have a hymen up there or something like that. Like, Maybe I do. You're like, did I just lose my virginity? I just no, lost bitch. my virginity no, again. Bitch. Look, I'm bleeding. Lost it a long ass time. No, I was. I was bleeding. I was like, oh my God, but it didn't hurt. I just was. There was a couple of times where I was like, whoa, bro, like, right. we got it. You got a big <laughs> dick and you're trying to hurt me. It, it hurts. <laughs> you're like, stop. Mission accomplished. Yeah, I don't ever want to be one of those people that's like, ah, stop, don't fuck yeah. me hard. I'm like, yeah, fuck me hard. But little do you know that, like, you know, when you watch the scene, like, I was actually Actually physically bleeding. in pain. Yeah, so yeah. like. Ugh. Yeah. I made a girl bleed one time on set. Oh my god, what? We How? were, well it was supposed to be a threesome, but it was like a rough, like rough scene. It was like, she was like sleeping with my husband and I caught it and I was like, yeah, if you want to fuck my husband, you're going to fuck both of us. And it was like really like intense. And I was yeah. like, I was like throat punching her, but my nails caught the back of her throat and that like. She's like coughing up blood. Oh and my like god! Yeah. Little girl was a trooper though. We went, we kept going. Oh my god! She like god. rinsed out her throat and we kept going. It was, it was rough. Ooh, whores! Yeah. They just like. So just what you guys think are happening behind the scenes are not happening behind the well, scenes. Well, I mean, it's like I've only been ripped one other time, and it was when I was hovering over a bathtub and I was like <laughs> spread eagle, like getting <laughs> fucked. I'm like, yeah, this is great. Like, but you're no. fucking squ no. doing wall squats and yeah. fucking tricep exercises. It's literally like, how long can you possibly stay in this position? I know. Like, I was like, oh, so hopefully they're going to call cut soon. <laughs> Knowing damn well they weren't going to call cut soon. And I was like, I finally just had to be like, whoa. <laughs> we got to stop. So I'm sure that's probably going to make it to film though. It'll probably be like me being like, whoa. whoa. Like, oh my God, your dick <laughs> is so big. But it was. I was but really, like, you're like, I got to take a break or I'm going to fucking die. I mean, that dick, it was fat. I can't yeah. wait to, I can't say who it was with. But we'll find out soon. I, when I release, out. when I when I share the, the porn for my fans who are following me, I'll let you know like. This one ripped me a new one. Oh my god. Literally. It ripped me a new one. <laughs> it was so hot. I was texting my boyfriend during like the scene. How are you texting? Well, because I needed to stay in the moment. You know, I need to stay sexy. Did so I'm still connected to the person I'm dating, even though I'm, yeah. 
they're still sexually connected to me even on set. And I'm like texting little naughty things. Oh, I'm bleeding all over here. <laughs> so cute. As someone who despises relationships, I'm oh, like, whatever. leave you it behind for a day. You would text someone. I just love that this one's like, hey, feet, show her feet. Hey, feet. Hey, feet. Look, feet, 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 socks, feet, 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 feet. I don't even have socks on. I just got my dirty. Oh, they're Look so how dirty. dirty. Do you see that? Because I've been walking around on this nasty ass floor without shoes on. I just got out of the shower, too, and my feet are still that gross. You love it. Oh. Do you know how many of my fans would love to lick my feet right now? That so is beautiful. Ah, it's beautiful. I was going to say gross. I actually really like having my toes sucked. So that's fun for me. I really want to put my hair out, but I can't. I'm like, bah. Sometimes I like sucking feet. I don't know. I'm like, whatever. I don't personally want to suck on toes because I don't feel like men's toes are really good. But oh, I like my toes. Some toes, toes are sucking. cute. And I don't know. I feel like men's toes are really rough. Like they're like mine are rough. Every time I go get my callus removed, my pedicures are like, oh my god, god, it's so gross. Uh, that's why I'm saying men's feet are so much more like jagged and like thunked up. Because I feel like women get like pedicures on like a regular basis. Yeah, probably the majority of people. Yeah, I feel like you look super tan on that red shirt. But I feel like I'm just as tan as you, but I'm really not tan. So it must just be the light in here. Is that I looking good? Okay, what were we talking about today? Um, we're talking about since we we're just talking about random throat punching and and now you're rubbing your nipples <laughs> for my fans only. For my fans only. Well, how do you know? So my fans might like your nipples. Well, you know what? I forgot that that camera was even over there. <laughs> so into myself over here. <laughs> so into yourself over there. Uh, Wesley, are you a natural top or bottom, they would like to know. Well, I am 100% versatile, which means as long as sex is involved, I am willing and able. <laughs> oh my god. So earlier we were talking about what we wanted to talk about today. And I love it right in here. It just says, put a dick in something. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were just talking, like, in porn, like, it really is, like, such a job. And in porn, people are willing to literally put a dick in anything yeah like the, I remember the first time I got hired to do a hand job and I was like are they serious like I'm not <laughs> supposed to do anything else with this other than to just and I remember like doing the hand job and like putting my face down and I was like am I supposed to like no no, no licking no, no sucking no just <laughs> that's, that's it like this is all you guys want me to do and then, I like, mean... yeah. and then foot jobs I've done foot it is hard to do a foot job and I don't know how those guys come with a foot job. Like they're actually coming from your feet? Yes. They're... No, really? Like yes. they're not stopping? That's hot. No, because it's actual like my feet. Then you do this little like, my feet are so grossly dirty right now, but I don't even care. Because it's this movement. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Oh, there you go, guys. Uh -huh, yeah. And it really does get them off. But you can literally put a dick in anything. It doesn't matter. Yeah. In a mouth and food and. You can put a dick anywhere. Put a dick in something and a dick is happy. Yeah. You can put a, a dicks a are dick. very easy to please. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, dicks are I should easy really to put pants on. I feel bad now that people can actually see my. I felt like I, we were gonna be like, um, what's it called, newscasters, anchors, where you could only see like from here up, and occasionally you get to see my pants. I'm not wearing. Pants. I'm in a tank top and sweatpants. Because we so put <laughs> so much effort <laughs> into everything that we do. <laughs> Okay. I haven't even showered yet. My armpit smells so good. I cool. have showered, so you're God, welcome I just for love, that. If I could just walk around smelling myself all day like that, you I do. would. You, know, you absolutely do that already. I love a guy's smell, man. I just we went love and hiked Runyon today, and we did the the triple eight, which the triple eight, the triple eight. I feel like we're ice skating. No, uh, the figure. Oh yeah, the figure hey. eight. I call it the figure eight. I don't know really what it is. Well, we made, named it the figure eight. Boat it's trails, really cool. up, down, up, down. And this motherfucker's wearing a goddamn sweatshirt the whole time. It's like 80 degrees here. Okay, 75. I needed to sweat it out. I don't know what you're sweating out. My like, sins. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a lot to sweat out. I was gonna say, there aren't enough flames in hell <laughs> to help you sweat that out, sweetheart. As long as I get like a hosting gig down in hell, I'm good. <laughs> Welcome yeah. to hell! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody here has fucked somebody you have. <laughs> Play the game up, see who it is. Yeah. Seven degrees of separation. It's more like three down here. <laughs> Wait, that could be a 
show we do now? It totally could be. Mm. I literally have... My wheels are always turning. I'm probably three degrees of separation from pe most people in the United States. Uh, I actually got... I had <laughs> sex with a girl the other day on my shoot, the one I got to fuck with the strap on. And she had had, fr had friends. She had had sex with a comic friend of mine and, like... Because she was like, oh, I already knew who you were. I had, you know, I went out with blah, blah, blah. I'll tell you later. Because like, I went out with blah, 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 and he knows you. And I was like, yeah. So I Snapchat him, and I was like, oh, we're like Esco Mo brothers or sisters or whatever the hell it is. That is like, so funny. Yeah. Well, it's easy like, yeah. because comics sleep with everybody. Well, because so. we're comics. We need I love. I don't sleep with everybody. We, well, need we do need love. love. We do need love. Comics need love. I have seen some of the people you have slept with. Mm, why? <laughs> I love that you're like dreaming. Some good, Ooh. some bad. Which Me ones too. Are we talking about? Have you seen mine? You've seen some of yeah, them. Yeah, I've seen some of them. I just want to feel love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm like thinking back of who I've seen. Shh, next question. Okay, moving along. <laughs> we're, we're winging it. We're winging it. Um, we are, are totally winging it. Brother and sister or something? Are we? No. I mean, we feel like brother and sister. Kind of. We. I feel like there's a lot of new people that are on my little thing, and I, yeah, like, I, I like that. That's a good thing. I We're best do friends. With this hair today. We are best friends. We are best friends we who comics who we comedy. met doing stand up. Thanks to my hair. Um. Take the show. Well, um, I booked my ticket home to Dallas, which I'm really excited about. So if anyone is in Dallas, the April 21st through May 1st, I want to see you. Um, also, I thought it was really rude because I went on Facebook to ask for recommendations for things to do while I'm in Dallas and people were so bothered. They're like, aren't you from Dallas? I'm like, well, bitch, shit I, changes. Yeah, and I haven't lived there in forever. Like, right. I don't fucking know what's cool and where if to go. If I went back to Kansas City and went to the bars that I used to go to, I'm sure like no one frequent. Well, that's not even true because there's really only like two places in Kansas. Well, I mean, City. I don't want to go back to the same like to the same place and do the same shit. Like, what's yeah. some new stuff that's going on in Dallas that I can take and like right. go and do? Yeah. Aren't you from Dallas? Dallas? Yeah, let me just go right over and go back to the fucking bars that I just got arrested in last year. That sounds yeah, fun. Yeah, let's not do that. People are like, it's purple party weekend. I'm like, I What's don't need a, party? it's a circuit party for HIV What's awareness, that? Oh. I think. Yeah. I'm like, why don't you just call it what oh, it he's is? He's aware Every... there's HIV. I'm like, he don't, don't need a party. I know. I'm like, why don't you just call it what it is? Like, we're going to raise money and you everyone's going to dance and do drugs. Yeah, that's what it is. I don't, I'm not interested. Been there, done that. Who wants to come style my hair for me? That's what I need in my I don't life. No, but we got a show. Not we can't no. be worried about that. Here we got this show. We're not worried about anything. Something everyone loves that you find overrated. Hummus. Hummus. Oh, hummus. You don't like hummus? No, Tamar really likes hummus. I like hummus. Yeah, I think a lot of people like hummus, and I've like made the hummus purchases a few times, and I've taken it home, and I really I try to eat it. But I just don't feel like it has any substance to it. I'm very mm. bored by hummus. Alcohol. Oh, see, I don't think that's as overrated as you do. Alcohol. I, because most I still people really I know enjoy that, it. Most people that I know enjoy it probably shouldn't and need to get yeah. their laps together. <laughs> He's talking about me. So I do really alcohol. enjoy it. I think it's super overrated. It is overrated. <laughs> I have my life together. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, My life's been great since no alcohol, though, I'm saying. Yeah, I know. Most people who take alcohol in their lives is good for them. Why do we have a drawing of a penis? That is not a penis. This is a drawing oh, of a dinosaur that I did. With titties. A dinosaur with titties. Those are his arms. Those I'm, are titties. Those are his legs, his oh. thigh muscles. He does squats. That they're titties squirting milk. <laughs> Oh, he does squats. I'm a very There's, good artist. Clearly, he doesn't do uh, calves. Uh, he's too busy he's doing legs. squats to do calves. Got it. <laughs> Penis dinosaurs. Sylvia Sage. Someone's really trying to go and like jerk off to you right now. S I L V I A S A I G E X X X. Well, shouldn't you? Hold on. Don't you have clips for sale? Just tell them they're. Oh clips yeah, for sale. go to clips for sale. Oh my God! Sale. Someone's calling that out right now. I'm gonna keep this hand down. Clipsforsale.com. Clipsforsale.com. Sylvia Sage Productions. You can go there and buy 
some clips and what? you can see my feet. There's even foot fetish ones on there. Look at that. Oh, I need... I'm foot fetish. I, you know what? I used to have... I dated a guy once while we're on the subject of foot fetishes who... I used to work retail and like I love... Oh, I thought you were going to tell the story of the foot from the other day, but go ahead. What? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, go. That's another foot story. <laughs> I... uh <laughs> No, I used to date a guy and I, when I was working retail way back when, and I was always on my feet. But and so I loved it. Like I'd get home and be like, "Don't take your shoes off till I get home." Oh, because he like wanted to like lick yeah, off. Yeah, he penis. would like take yeah, my shoes yeah. off and rub yeah. my feet and smell them. And I was, like, oh my god, I love that shit. I fucked yeah. him with my big toe twice. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. I'm a good big toe fuck. Now you know. I was hitting that spot, I guess. I was basically toe, big toe and, and middle toe in. Wow. Me, 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 me. <laughs> big toe and middle toe, you mean this toe, the second big, one. Second, what toe is that? Because I feel like that's the middle toe. That is toe. the middle toe. How did you get the middle in that one, just to, I didn't. didn't. Just the, what's the second toe? I don't know. The other uh, foot story is um, yesterday I was filming with someone. <laughs> not, I was filming with someone. They had a fucking broken foot and it was looked like they had elephantitis. It was so swollen and it's pink. The pinky on the foot was sticking out sideways. I could not look down at it. I was like, this is so fucked up. Like, what are you trying to keep your dick hard? I'm trying to keep my dick hard. I can't look down at your foot. <laughs> it was so swollen. The poor guy was like, I can't stand on it. I was like, I... <laughs> I'm sure you can't. Like, it looks fucked up. I can't believe he shot like that. Must have needed money. I was going to say, medical bills will cost you some sure income, I'm sure. I was like, fuck. Oh, it was so swollen. I mean, there's no way he showed up with shoes on his feet. Oh, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> he probably just walked right in off the street. Like me. <laughs> That's what they do look like. I am right off the street. It's so true. Do you have any funny little stories about filming? Oh, God. Recently? Uh, you just went down to San Diego. I you did. missed your train, I oh heard. Oh, my God. How did that happen? Okay, so I had to go to San Diego, and on the way down, it's just one train, right? Like, I didn't have to get off of trains, and that was fine. I was really, actually, I kind of enjoyed it, and I would do it again. But taking the train? Yeah. Really? I, yeah, I didn't mind it at all. What did you do? Like, did you talk day. to anyone? I did my makeup, and I. <laughs> You're on the train just like I was just doing social media. Yeah, I totally was. Did you go douche on the train? No, I didn't douche at all. I totally forgot to. Oh, you fine. didn't have to because you didn't do anal. I didn't anal, but yeah. I still would like to douche before a regular set anyway. But yeah. I didn't have time because it was a really hot scene and we had to do like a pickup on the street. And then from the pickup, we were both so like turned on and ready to have sex that we just started having sex before we were supposed to. So You and the... What? And the person I was shooting with. Ooh, scandaloso. It was. It was good, though. It was good. We, I mean, we got the, we got the shots we needed. <laughs> I think we had more <laughs> sex off of camera than we had on camera, though. Shut that's for up. sure. Yeah. But it was good. It was fun. It's fun when you have good chemistry with somebody. How many... Does that happen regularly? I don't feel like God that really no. happens a lot. God, no. I'm sure maybe it does. I don't know. I feel like... I, I feel know. like if I... I mean... I feel like it's hit or miss. It's really hit or miss. And it makes the day go by... A lot slower if it's not any kind of chemistry. I mean, I'm always it. with straight guys, so it's always a long day. I feel oh, like. Oh God, yeah, that's so crazy that you're like always the, with straight guys. They don't want my. It's so crazy to me that you don't have enough gay men in the world ready to do gay porn that you have to hire straight oh, men. Oh no, honey, they're to like. Do it. They're like, oh how? Oh, because they're too could, diva. How could he be showing his penis and butthole and dicks in there? We only send those messages privately Private to Private to everyone. I could never. Privately to everyone. I could never get paid to have sex. I'd rather be I'd at a job for, for 56 hours a week. I know. Every time I see someone <laughs> working at Starbucks, I'm like, oh, if you only knew how to suck a dick, you could do <laughs> you what I do. If you, if you could only knew how to suck a dick, you could, you could have my job and I could have yours. You too <laughs> could do what I do. You just got to be willing to... Sacrifice. Not everyone's willing, and that's why it keeps us a job. Thank you for not being willing to I do am, what I thank do. Thank you for not <laughs> willing to be as big of a whore as I am. Right, to have people judge you the yeah. same way. I'm okay with the judgment. I'm like, 
my booty hole. You has know a what's price. crazy is like back in the day, like I legitimately, I was so involved in God and church. Like I feel like I, I remember legitimately being scared of being struck by lightning. What? And of burning in a church. <laughs> what? I legitimately had this like fears of like if I say the Lord's name in vain, like it will like the wrath will come down on me. And I remember like as a kid, like saying it like secretly, like. Like a little kid would do, like Shut a candy up. thing in the mirror. The candy thing. What candy, candy thing? Candy man, candy man, candy man. Oh, in the we mirror? said bloody Mary, bloody oh, Mary. Oh, bloody Mary, bloody Mary, bloody Mary, bloody Mary too. But the same thing, candy man. But I did candy it in the man. same way of like saying it and being like terrified. Like, what would you say? Like under my breath, I'd be like, Jesus Christ. No, you be wouldn't. Like, did nothing happen? No. Be like, oh, okay, I'm okay. Like I legitimately like lived with this like. Fear of God. Like when they say, Do you have the fear of God? I had the fear of God. And then it's, have you seen that one? It's like a, it's like two atheists, there are three, wait, two religious people on a boat, and then the atheist, and he gets off because the boat's on land. He's like, Y'all, it ain't so bad over here. I feel like that's me. <laughs> I can tell you like, you can step off the boat, y'all, and it's totally fine. You're not going to drown. Yeah, actually, there's actually, no water here. There's, there's no water to drown. <laughs> So you'll it's be an, just it's fine. an illusion. It's the way the sun's hitting the rocks. It's, there's not water. <laughs> yeah. Come here. You're gonna be okay. Trust me. Like, How could we trust you? You oh, got off the boat. But even then, like if you like talk to a person that's like religious as my mother, she was like, "But the afterlife. I'm sad because I won't see I won't see you in the afterlife." And I'm like. You're like, Mom, I'm not even trying to see you during this life. <laughs> you think I'm going to go I'm through gonna this I'm going to search life. for you in the afterlife. Girl. If I can shake you once, I'm done. <laughs> That's evil. I don't really want to shake my mom. I love her. I, I mean, here's wanna, my thing. I don't want to shake the Jesus I'm hoping you. that I, I'm hoping that I'm not spending my eternity searching for people and hanging out with the same people that I hung out with <laughs> down here. I'd like to... Do something different. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I know nothing against anyone, but maybe I'm like, learn another let's, language. Let's change it up a little bit. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna change languages. Stephen Palmer, I see that you just said, "Let's talk stories from back home." What is that? Booze oh. and good. Oh, booze is good for the heart, says Palmer. Booze is good for the heart. Red wine, though, really is good for the heart. And I've told myself maybe I should go back to, go back to, because I used to do this. Never. I just love that you're talking to yourself. You're like. That I'm like, I should maybe you're, just you're have bargaining just with red yourself. wine. Yeah. I yes. could just have red wine. Because I feel like I, I did bad things with whiskey. I've, I've done bad things with whiskey. I need to be away from it. Well, I mean, just the other day you were fucking yourself with a bottle, so. I did do that. <laughs> That was totally for pay, though. It's different. That is hilarious. Dude. I thought it was amazing. So what did he say? So for y'all that don't know, because okay. we're just so, telling you. I, so I do custom videos, and this somebody requested that I do like what a did he, dirty What did the bartender. email say? That's all it said. Yeah, he wanted a dirty bartender and wanted me to get creative. So I got creative, and I became a dirty bartender. And you just were fucking yourself with the bottle. Just a little bit. Just the top of the bottle, but yeah. Did you drink out of it? Yeah, totally. Oh, yeah, such totally. a nice Dirty girl. bartender. <laughs> See, you give me a roll and I just do what I can do. You're like, just tell me what I need to do to collect your money and I'm going to do <laughs> and it. I'll do it. <laughs> Dirty bartender. To an extent, though, because I did have one the other day. It was another request to poop. It was another request to girl, poop if, on camera. And I girl, was like, no. If, I, if my I shit could make money, I'd be shitting all no. day long. You, I already shit all day. You know, long. I actually thought about it because I actually thought about saying yes because they said you didn't even have. It said you didn't have to show your face; that it just had to be your whole spread open, showing the poop come out. And I thought, I wonder if Shane would do that for me. But then, but then my asshole would be so hairy; they'd be yeah, like, "Yeah, and that's what oh. I was thinking too." Because I was like, "Well, my asshole is pretty like well known at this point." Because Is it? It's, You're famous for your anus. I'm famous for my mole butt. Yeah. My mole butt. Yeah, I think so. I think that's what people know me for. It's like. You have a You're the chick butt. with the mole on your butt. No and I'm way. like, yeah, that's me. No way. Totally. Oh, God. Totally. I don't ever want to look that mole in the eye. I have been doing the <laughs> same goddamn mole joke for over five years, and I can't get it out of my act because there is not a single time where I get off stage and somebody doesn't go, oh, my God, that mole joke. And I'm like, I can, for the next 20 years, I'll be telling a fucking joke about a mole next to my fucking asshole. It's true, though. I do have a mole next to my asshole. <laughs> 
<laughs> it looks like a and piece it looks of like shit. A piece of shit. Oh my god, someone keeps commenting on that. Oh my god. I, I can't. We can't comment on what you want. Can't comment, comment on that. I'm sorry. <laughs> um. Oh my God. Okay. Stephen wants me to talk about our time at the cold storage lofts. What is that? <laughs> what is this? Okay. So he said our time at the cold storage lofts. And the I know cold exactly storage what lofts. Is that like to. an apartment or a condo or like a loft area? Um, it's lofts downtown, but that has nothing to do with it. What it means is it's the time, the very first time I rolled on ecstasy. What? <laughs> <laughs> it was with him, and I drove there, and now what you have to understand is the lofts are downtown Kansas City, and we lived in Blue Springs. And How far is that? Uh, like 20 minutes. Like a 20 minutes, okay. Yeah. But, so we go upstairs, and we thought we were going to like roll with the people, right, who are yeah. giving us the drugs, because that's typically kind of what you just do, right? You just roll with the druggies. You roll with the people drug who give you drugs. Yeah. And so we go inside and we both take our roll or whatever. And then basically these people are like, what? Well, they gotta go like kicking us out. And we're just like, oh, okay. So we're like, okay, we can do this. And I'm like, I hope it doesn't kick in like before we get home. <laughs> and we get into my car and I go to like pull out and I put the car into reverse. And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> That just is hit. The worst. And I was like, I can't do this. <laughs> I was saying, like, I don't know how to drive this car. Like, I don't know what to do. That's the so worst. he was like, we'll just pull, pull over. What just did pull over. Do? So I literally, I didn't leave the parking lot. Like, I was so fucked up, I couldn't even get out of the parking lot. So I literally pulled out of a parking space, and that's when it hit me. And I was like, oh my God. And he was like, well, park it. So I literally just like pulled into another parking spot. And we had to like, just literally the two of us just like wandered Walk. the parking lot being like rolling our asses off laughing because we couldn't go anywhere. Do you know how people were probably people were probably driving by like what the oh, fuck I'm are sure. these? But we couldn't go anywhere because there was no way in hell I could drive. Like I didn't even remember like like I remember oh, thinking like I was on like a spaceship like oh my <laughs> god like what the fuck am I doing behind the wheel of this car. I don't know how people drive on shit like that. Like, we were talking oh, today about... I don't drive, so I'm like, eh. Yeah, we were talking today, like, back in the day, the bad decisions that we oh, made God. driving, though. Like, I mean, I both of us have had the time where, like, I drove home oh. thinking, like, I'm not that fucked up, like, I'm fine to drive, and then the next morning I go to my car and there's, like, remnants of Taco Bell, like, the lettuce and uh, cheese so in my not seat. Okay. And I'm like, oh, and I, my drunk ass went to Taco Bell. Awesome. Great. I'm glad you fed yourself, drunkie. Oh, so not okay. Yeah, yeah that's, <laughs> drugs, drug, drug. You know, we used to have this thing growing up at my school called prevention baseball. And Is that like dare? Basically. Yeah. So they make you memorize questions on drugs and alcohol, and then you draw questions, and a question correlates to like a double, a triple, and you play like a baseball But didn't that game. just make you want to do it more just to find out if that's the reaction oh, you were going to no. get? Oh, no. I was like, drugs are garbage. Be clean and sad and Oh, yeah. I didn't do drugs until I was out of high school. Oh, yeah. And then I was like, um, I don't know. I don't even know how or why drugs started. I think oh, it just I do. was. I know. Exactly where I got in the drugs. I, I was mean, like out and about, and I'm like, let's try it. I was 19. I met an 28-year-old guy that I was dating. He oh, was my God. so cute, and I was so so into it and then he gave me cocaine and I freaked out and then I had a cocaine problem and then I only did marijuana to come down off of weed oh, oh. or come down off of uh, cocaine cocaine yeah oh my and God. then I only did meth on accident <laughs> for the first time after that I knew what I was doing but the first time I tried meth was total accident I thought it was cocaine and I remember telling my buddy um, hold on you did meth like how you did on smoke accident. it no, I snorted it. Oh my god, that must have hurt. I, yeah. So my buddy, or like, what about, we're what at about, like a was it party. Kay? No, it was mad. I like it. I mean, what? We were at, <laughs> I've never done that. I but like we were at a drugs. party, and I remember them saying, like, hey, we're going to go, like, take a bump. Do you want to come? And I was like, yeah. At that point, I was, like, an established drug person. You're like, like yeah, I can cool, do I drugs. Do this. Yeah. Drug and I was like, me yeah, we'll go. And off. then they, they laid me out this little bump, and it was like, it's little, itty, teeny, tiny. And at that point, thinking I'm a pro, I was like, oh, that's retarded. Like, line it up, blah, blah, blah. And he goes, trust me, just do it. And I was like, okay. So I did it, and immediately, like, this I remember, making... I remember, like, snorting it and coming <sighs> up and being like, 
into a situation where you're just randomly doing drugs, it's kind of your fault. Yeah. <laughs> it's, true. Like, it's not like their fault. Yeah, it's not their fault. They're hanging out with in them. front of me. That's <laughs> yeah, totally true. That's really true. We're I am not an advocate for drugs unless it's marijuana, by the way, which I do have a script for. God, that makes me, yeah, just even, I've done so many stupid things in the past, too. It just makes me sick yeah. to my stomach. I can't even imagine doing drugs like that. I now. literally, like, need to take a shit when the thought of drugs, like, when someone's talking or about Or when you do drugs, they are, um, what's it called? A, I haven't done what's a What's it called where it bleeds you out, cleans you out? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We're so educated. <laughs> it's painful how smart we are. I, uh, drugs. yeah. Oof. I can't even remember the last time I've done drugs. Um, well, I know, yeah, I did cocaine. Probably this time last year at Coachella, I was on mushrooms. Oh. <laughs> yeah, mushrooms are fun. I did mushrooms on New Year's this past New Year's. Where were you? In Boston. Boston. Yeah. Boston Tea Party. Boston Mushroom Party. What do you have coming up? Oh, my God. We have... We have... We need. We should be talking about this before so we get off So we're doing here. the roast battle Tuesday the 18th. Next Tuesday. Oh my god. Next Tuesday. Next, next, it's not next Tuesday. Next week. Next Tuesday, y'all, the Comedy Store here in Los Angeles. If you are in town or going to be in town, get tickets now. Now. Because more than likely they're already sold out. But yeah, I was going to say, it sells out every week. But it's Tuesday night yes. next week, the roast battle. On Comedy Central. Not scared at all. <laughs> Not intimidated in the slightest. We're going to do great. It's oh gonna my god, it's going to be so much fun. Show. We're roasting each other. We get to make fun of each other? That's so easy. Oh, it's super easy. <laughs> yeah. Well, they think it's funny. Well, I'm just hoping everyone gets it. Like, everyone gets, like, our personality. I think they will. I think they'll get And it. it's not a, yeah, I'm not, yeah. I'm doing it for me, and I think I'm pretty funny, and they'll think so too. Mm. Be confident in you. It's gonna be good. It's gonna, I'm excited. It's gonna be a fantastic show, and you should be there to watch it all go down if you can get tickets. Yeah. It's, it sells out because it's uh, since Comedy Central. I mean, it's always been an amazing show, and it's always been sold out. But since Comedy Central picked it up, it's, it's like been, booked out weeks in advance, and it's that's also awesome. so good hard to even get standing room only in the place. And, that's so awesome. Yeah. I'm so excited. I'm ready. This will be fun. Like, yeah. Oh my God, to be able to be on, on a stage like that, doing what we love. Like, yeah, and together. Yeah. It's we really be awesome. enjoy being on a stage together. That's a lot of fun. For It'll be us. something that we look back on and be like, oh my God, remember that time? Remember when. Yep. Remember when. What else? Da, 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 da. Um, so that's like Cinderella. Oh, we might be in El Paso so soon together. Is. What is that? I don't know, Cinderella. I don't know why I'm saying What song? Cinderella. What song is it? So This Is Love. Da, 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 da. I, I don't know, know that okay. song. El Paso. We might be in El Paso soon together. We'll see. You might be in a gay porn movie. <laughs> Details to come. <laughs> I'm excited. With a producer that we obviously know love. and love. Yeah. Uh, so Details to fun. come. <laughs> Noodles to come. I love that my porn career is now spanning into gay porn. I mean, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> oh, it is pretty awesome. It'll that be mean, a you get to like retweet that out that you're in a gay form. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah, I'm so That's excited. fun. I'm so excited. I hope they. Fun. I hope you get lines and everything. Oh, I think I'm just a. I don't know. I don't think I have lines. I hope so. I don't know. We'll I see. hope so. We'll see. It would be fun if I had lines. I'll totally do it and speak and talk and do whatever the fuck I need to do. <laughs> I, I love wait. it. I can't wait to see your gay porn gay, debut. Yeah, gay porn debut. Like, do I get to lick any assholes while I'm here? Oh That's my a, god! Oh my god! So my girlfriend Jamie um, called me the other you day. You would totally put on a strap on that while you were there. Well, can't get enough of it. <laughs> like almost thinking of turning lesbian or just finding a man who likes to be fucked because I love having a strap on. Like I cannot get enough of it. I feel so empowered. I love every second of it. And if there is any men out there that are willing to be fucked, you should apply to date me at sylviasage at gmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> Where 
was I going? I don't, I don't know. know. I was like, you're the star. I was listening and enjoying it. I don't know what else I was going to say. I totally <laughs> forgot. I was going with that. We're not even high yet. We're going to go get high yeah, immediately after We need after to, this. like, right now. We're going to do that. <laughs> I don't know what I was just saying. So. I don't know, but I think it's a great place to leave off. We but literally just was like... At nothing? It's a great <laughs> place to leave you with literally nothing. It's kind of like this show. <laughs> it's literally nothing. We're gonna... I literally uh, love putting strap-ons on. I don't know where we're going with that. I don't know where we're that. going with that. But now you know my love for strap-ons. Um, regardless. We're going to see what we can do. Uh, kind of switch things up for you guys in the next few weeks. Yeah, we have some things coming up that we want to tweak and work on, and we're gonna. Yeah, we're play gonna with the show change the show a little bit, and maybe even change how often you see us. We'll see, though. We'll. And see. the venue might be changing. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. You're not done with us yet, though. We've gotten so good, such good feedback. Uh, we just want to change things up for us because we're getting. We're getting bored at this point. Gosh, questions are great, but you can only read the same so many questions. We can only answer the same questions so many times, and we've reached that stamp. We've reached that point. So yeah. unless we take you with us in our everyday lives, it's a little harder. So we're gonna switch things up. Ba ba ba. To be next continued. Week. And we're sorry that this uh, last one didn't go on Facebook. That was my fault. I thought I'd try Instagram and fuck it. We didn't like that. We didn't know they took it away Speaking from us. Speaking of Instagram, did you know now that they have pictures that they can disappear? No, but that's what your feed does. Remember the live feed disappears? Yeah. Well, now you can have disappearing video videos oh, really? and photos. The first thing I always think of when I think of that is like sex. People are being shady yeah. and sending stuff. Why well, that's what Snapchat was Why too. can't people just own it? Yeah. These people are like, oh, well, would they see a naked picture of you? I'm like, why the fuck would anyone seeing a naked picture of anyone like yeah. affect anything? Can I see it? Can I please? We're see all a naked born picture? naked. Yeah, the rest is drag. Right? When someone won't Paul send me says. a naked picture of themselves, I'm like, okay, <laughs> you're clearly mm -hmm. too involved with whatever you have going on. That you will never be able to date me if you can't send me a naked picture of yourself. I can guarantee you that because you're just... gonna be very worried about what my name is gonna do to your career. And sweetie, that ain't something we can have you worrying about. Yeah, because you're the only career we have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. All right. Until next time, and we'll um... see y'all Tuesday. I hope some of y'all come Tuesday. You guys are going to see it store. anyway because it's going to be on Comedy Central. So. Here we go. <laughs>